Hello everyone, this is CypherDag, and today we're going to be playing Never Grind. This is a game by Joe Leonard of Never Works, and it is a game where we're going to be able to play like EverQuest, but with some World of Warcraft and Diablo uh, features. Diablo and World of Warcraft is more towards the maybe leveling and the gear that you get, where everything else is more like EverQuest. The game is a solo play game, browser based, so you can just go to nevergrind.com, sign up for it, you can use Facebook if you want to to sign up, Google, uh, where you can create your own specific account. Once the game, uh, you're in the game, you can create a character and start playing. Now there are things called crystals, you actually see it whenever you get into, um, once you create your account, that you can buy them. All they're there for is to, one, help the creator out, because he's not only uh, created this game, he's created another one called Filament Wars, and now he's working on Never Grind Online, or Never Grind 2, if you want to call it that. He's still in the work as to what name he wants to go with. But the difference between this, which is a single-player game, and the new one, is that it is going to be a... Um... And it's going to be an MMO style game. You'll have up to four people in a group. You are going to probably be required to use a group because of the fact that it is going to have traps. You're going to need a healer. You're going to need DPS. You'll need a tank. And you'll want to form up a decent uh, type group to go through dungeons and to experience and to have some fun. The thing I really like about the game is that it is just made very well for the kind of game it is. Being a browser based game, there's a lot in the game that you just don't normally get from a game like this. Um, that said, it is a specific kind of game, it's not something that you would probably see anywhere else in in this specific fashion uh, as far as uh, on, a, on the web browser thing, <laughs> sorry. Anyway. So I create a cleric, and one of the things about this game is you want to get combos. You want to kill as many mobs in a string as you can. So what I did is I went ahead and I played a paladin for a while. I was able to get some really good, unique uh, weapons and armor. Uh, unique is one of those um, things where unique is going to have better stats. It has a base stat line. And you can get better versions of that item, but it will never change the kind of item it is. Uh, if that makes any kind of sense at all. So whenever you, um, whenever you get like these gloves that I have on, they have a mana bonus. And what they do is they leech mana per hit. So every time you hit with your weapon, it's going to leech mana. If you play it on a paladin, which is probably the most OP thing you can do in the lower levels is you can continually build up your mana by doing regular attacks because you have for the cleric it's going to be all casting and auto attack. Auto attack is what's going to be filling up that mana bar so we're not going to be getting as much mana as you would say with a uh, with a paladin. But the thing that I really like about the game is that every class starts with one ability that requires no mana, has no timer on it, it just allows you to constantly cast it. And for the cleric, it is a very powerful spell, but not as powerful as say a wizard, a mage, a necromancer, those kind of things. Though you'll see here, because of the equipment that I have on, I'm able to non-stop pull mobs to kill them. I'm already level 2, um, where uh, some other classes would probably be struggling at this time. Probably be dead, even with the equipment that I have on. Also, if you're wearing equipment that is not for your class, a wizard wearing plate armor, the stats are going to be greatly reduced. Though those gloves that I have on a wizard or any other caster are amazing. I kind of wish there was a chain and a cloth version of those gloves but we haven't gotten very far into the game as of yet so um maybe once we get higher level we'll have that ability i wanted to bring up something 
else while we're playing the game. I wanted to bring up the fact that I have not been uploading on a regular schedule. And for those of you who don't know, I live literally in the woods. Um, five to ten miles away from any town. And we do not have internet out here. We have cell phone. <laughs> so, while the quality of EverQuest is actually pretty decent on my cell phone, I, I can't play other MMOs or other online games without going into town and dedicating maybe a whole day to just uploading, downloading um, new games, that kind of thing. So, I'm going to try to get to a point where every Monday I will have as many games, as many videos as I can ready to go. Go in on Monday or Tuesday, upload all of them, and just set up a dedicated, I will have at least three videos up every week. Um, and we'll say because of the fact that sometimes I won't get to town until Tuesday, that we'll do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Or if you would rather it be Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, that kind of schedule. But that said, I am still working on trying to get to a point where I can do two videos a day. But until I get to a ability to play um, games more often or just have the ability to have internet of higher quality, I, I'm having problems with that. Also, for the zone walkthroughs for EverQuest, those take me up to three days to edit because of the fact that I want them to be clean, I want everything to be no, uh, notated. Um, even in the Sev video, I wanted to redo that walkthrough two more times just because of the fact that I missed the, uh, the prison area, <laughs> things like that. But that said, I do have one that I've already started working on and recording. So you should be seeing that, not this week, maybe next week. And if I can get to it, I'd like to do two of them. Uh, but they won't release in the same week, probably. Because I, I do spend a lot of time working on those over the other videos that I do. What you will probably see, though, are Arx Fatalis more. Uh, I'm going to be doing um, Kingdom of Amalar Reckoning. Um, probably do some of these as well. EverQuest always, though I don't think I have a video this week that I've recorded as of yet of EverQuest. I said I was going to record last night, but then got caught up into the fact that I kept dying and um, forgot to turn, the, turn it on. Though that would have been pretty fun dying and the aggravation. Also, I'm having problems with my microphone, um, but that I'm not going to worry about. Just going to say that if you want to help me in any way, I do have a Patreon and I need to get that fixed to, um, to this channel. I originally had it set up for a more um, uh, poetry channel because I do um, open mic poetry other than EverQuest. So if you want to hear that, I can start posting those kind of videos too. But anyway, Never Growing is one of those games that I've been playing for maybe two years. Whenever the game came out, I helped uh, with bug issues, uh, all kinds of things, to be honest. I was on the forums every day. And um, now that Never Growing 2 is going to be coming out, which I am very much excited for, I am going to probably be doing testing for that as well. Uh, so you'll you'll probably see videos of that soon. So I just wanted to give you a glimpse of the game. Also talk to you about some other things that um, that I'm working on, trying to get more videos out for you guys, and, and just having some fun. We're coming up to I believe it is the 300th or 400th video I've posted. So I might do something special for that. Maybe I'll do a walkthrough of a zone that I can't do normally on a character. And maybe we will um, die or something. You never know. I'll, find, I'll figure something out. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to show you this game. It's one of the games that I play a lot whenever I just need to relax. It's, again, a browser-based game. So you can just log on, sit there 
hit some buttons, have some fun, and while I say that, it's, it's actually really fun to play, especially when you get to higher levels, because then you start to get mobs that don't have just a basic um, skill set or basic um, abilities, you get into the legendary mobs and the epic mobs and those kind of things where they have resistances to certain things or they can do other things. I think I'm going to die here, so that's a great point to end on. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.